Welcome to UNV Academy. We are going to talk about people counting of NVR. In this episode, we will showcase detailed configuration of people flow counting and crowd density monitoring functions. Let's get started. We are now having UniView camera demonstrating people counting, so make sure the camera is added to NVR through the UniView privacy protocol. Click and, and enter VCA configuration, scroll down, we can see people flow counting and crowd density monitoring function under people counting category. People flow counting is good for measuring the number of people that pass through a certain passage or entrance, providing daily, weekly, monthly and annual reports for analysis, while crowd density monitoring can do a great favor for personnel flow restriction and queue management. They are in green, it means functions are supported by the device. We can have either flow counting or density monitoring activated at a time. And for the purpose of showing counting record and display view, we need to add on screen display contents. We would like to take your attention to people flow counting first. Click and select, get the people flow counting working. Go setting menu for further adjustment. We can see the display window playing live view on the left side. Specific function settings are presented on the right. Click the drawing icon to draw a line in the display view. We now get a line with an arrow from A to B. Put it to the place where we want to do the counting. Direction of arrow here can help system define the entering direction as A to B or B to A. Here we can click the drop down icon to set. Counting type here allows us to get three kinds of data. Entering and exiting together, or only entering or exiting. Click here to set reporting interval from 1 to 60 seconds, determining data synchronizing frequency with NVR. If we select Enable Clear by Schedule option for clearing up counting records, we just need to key in the exact timing when we want system to start recounting. And it will work as scheduled. If we want to recount instantly, click the clear icon below here to clear up all the current results. Remember to apply when all settings are made. Let's have a look at how people flow counting works. We can see counting line, direction arrow and on-screen display bar. The blue line in middle defines the position where we want to start counting people, and the yellow direction line tells the entry direction. The on-screen display bar on the upper right side accurately records all the entries and exits. Next is Crowd Density Monitoring. Click and select. Click the setting menu for further settings here. The setting interface is composed of three parts, current camera, arming schedule, and alarm options. Arming schedule is for setting monitoring working time. We can select a specified day like Monday. Input the exact time period we want to have in a day. There are four groups time settings available. We can also copy the time schedule of a certain day to other days or holidays. This will greatly improve the setting efficiency. Choose the days that we are going to get the schedule pasted. Let's look down. Now there is the display view on the left side and several options on the right. Select the needed reporting intervals. Then go to Alarm Settings section. Alarm function can help us know people density at various levels with different alarming and trigger actions that we preset accordingly. The default values of minor, major, and critical alarm are 20, 24, and 30 separately. Tick the requested alarming kind and input value if needed. Click the area drawing icon to get the desired monitoring area on display view.
the drawing should be a closed circuit. The downside here is for action triggering, like if you have devices equipped with speaker, then when system detects people's amount surpasses the preset threshold, it will trigger the camera to send a command to the speaker and make it play the audio reset. We can select repeating times as required and configure different modes for major and critical alarm. All settings of monitoring are completed. Click Apply then Exit. If we are going to check the people counting report, go to the VCA search and find the report. Select the camera. Choose the counting type. Get the report type as needed. Statistical time defines the end time of a period. Click and complete. Click the count button to analyze data. We can see the analyzed chart or table below. The horizontal axis is based on the report type we've chosen. It demonstrates people entered and exited in the selected period. This can be backed up to external devices. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.